Hello friends, in this video, we are going to work with different gradients. So open a new document and choose the gradient. To see the properties of gradient, click on the gradient. Now you can see this color stop is the starting point as the location is 0. And this color stop is the final location, is the final point as the location is 100. So now in the document, whenever you draw the gradient, your initial color will be saffron followed by white followed by green. Now there are different types of gradient. So we will choose the linear gradient first. Now how it's supposed to work. So click at the end and draw a line till the end. Okay. Now as our gradient consists of three colors, these three colors will be equally divided across the length of the line. Say like this, you see a saffron here, then the combination of saffron and white, then pure white, then the combination of white and green and then pure green. Let me undo this. Now you can also draw a line from outside the document and keep in mind only the line is divided into three parts. Now suppose consider this, when I leave the mouse here, I will be able to see a lesser of red, sorry, saffron, white and a lot of green because from the point till I draw a line, it will be filled by green only. See like this. Now I can draw a line at any angle. Say I start from here at an angle and till here. Now, this document will contain a lesser of saffron, a lesser of green, but a lot of white. See, like this. Now, suppose your requirement is you want the top right corner to have some of saffron, white and a lot of green. So, we will start from outside the document and till here. Now, when you leave, see the desired results okay now let us come to the gradient the radial gradient now radial gradient will have a circle now your first color will be the inner part of the circle followed by the outer color stop and surrounded by the last color stop so when you draw the line it will be like this the inner part is of saffron followed by white and followed by green. Now this circle is completely dependent on the radius and radius is the size of the line that you draw. So when you draw this line you will see a bigger circle and might be you won't be able to see much of the green. Okay so you can see the corners only they have some shades of green. Now when you draw a smaller line, okay, you will see a point of saffron, a point of a uh, circle of white and rest of the document filled with the green like this. You can also draw these circles from outside the document also. Say I will start the circle from here and I'll draw a line like this. So I see a half circle of saffron, a half circle of white and rest of the document is filled with the green like this. Even I can draw this radial gradient at any desired angle like this. So from point where I have started will be the center of my circle and rest of the document will be sequentially divided in other colors like this. Now let me choose this angle gradient. Now when I click it will be a point where my initial color stop will start okay and the angle gradient will have a combination of all the colors that are present and complete a 360 degree of the circle. So when I draw the line, okay, 
I will see a saffron just side the line then white and then green like this okay now what happens if I draw the line from this corner diagonally so you will be able to see the saffron and you won't be able to see any white because it will present outside the document and then finally you will be able to see some green like this okay now suppose you want much of white inside the document but you want very less of red and saffron so what will you do you will start within the document and you will move outside the document like this and see you have much part of the white and less part of the green and the saffron okay now let us try this reflected gradient reflected gradient will reflect each and everything so first let me show you with a small line like this okay now say this was your white this was your saffron then the saffron is again reflected so it become darker okay then white then green and the green is again reflected and filled on the document as I have drawn a small line okay let us show the same thing with a bigger line okay now you can see the much darker tones of saffron on green here and even of white also because it is reflecting the same thing okay let me draw this in an angle okay now you can see the saffron the white and the white is again reflected so it become much brighter okay then you can see again slight line of a very slight line of saffron in between two whites before it reflects itself okay now let me show you this diamond gradient now as the radial gradient consists of circles this diamond gradient consists of squares tilted at an angle of 45 degree okay so when you first draw the gradient the diamond gradient it will act like this okay the center of the diamond will be your first color followed by the second color and followed by the last color okay now if you want the complete squares so you just need to tilt your axis by 45 degrees okay like this and now you will have the perfect squares like this now suppose you want your document in the right left corner okay right or left any corner you want some part of saffron some part of white and some part of green so we'll start from outside the document and we'll go inside and when you see you will see some squares inside your document okay like this now suppose you want half of the square inside your document so you will start from the edge and draw towards the end okay okay let me do one thing i will draw at an angle like this okay so now you have the perfect squares so in this way you can use the gradient thank you for watching this video guys